So their first planet that we can see is only three jumps away from you. Where is it? Oh, shh. <laughs> ah, that's um, a problem, to say the least. Okay. I'm going to not expand towards that way. Oh, my God. I found an asteroid field with a crap ton of stuff. But it has a few covenant... Oh. Last time it checked, there were a few neutral covenant ships and a bunch of foreigner stuff. Okay. Um, let's not go there, then. Okay. Uh, this is bad. Yeah, they're not that far from me, are they? At all. Do you yeah. want me to expand in my direction that's clear, or do you want me to get closer to you? Uh, definitely get closer to me, yeah. Because right. we're going to have to share the burden of not dying. Yeah, I'll just secure the choke point here, probably go out and grab Decided Heart and never all the three in between it and my capital, and then I'll head towards Okay, if you... Just so I have a two-planet front line on that side. Okay. Let me quickly have a look at what you're talking about. Right, which one are you getting? Right, you're getting... Uh, decided Heart. That's going to be my border, along with Clotho. Uh... I am looking. Just the two planets, like, that'll kind of make a border on the left side, and then I'll head down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. So you get those. Yeah, yeah. Get those three. Yeah, and then uh, head off to, yeah, Tantalus and around there. That makes sense. Okay. Here I, here's to hoping that I'm jumping into a, an asteroid field here. Um, yeah, here's to just hoping that there isn't a Covenant fleet waiting for me. Though, to be fair, they, they tend to be relatively weak early on because they just they're spreading out with single ships because you know each of their single ships is so powerful they can just completely plaster um any of the neutrals yeah but ideally you want to get the planet past it too because you can't build any serious defenses in an asteroid field. oh no yeah i do want to get the planet past it but holding that is going to be a pain in the ass but once both of my fleets are linked up, they should be able to defend it. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. So my second fleet is now heading to join my first fleet. I'm going to try and get Oriani and then just turn it into um, a fortress. I'm not going to get the, the not going to get Superior uh, or Superior, however you pronounce that, um, because I think that would be overextending myself. I have two planets on the border. If I have one planet where we can bottleneck them, that would be great. Then if you could go and get um, Phallic Numa, you see where that is? Sort of to the... Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you could grab that one, that would be great. And then we can sort of... We can bottleneck them then. Um, hopefully. I mean, they can still get to us by going through the star, but at least we've got you know, our main border dealt with. That's if they haven't already taken this planet, um, which they may well have. Yeah. So. Alright, let's create a fleet out of this lot. Claim this asteroid. Do some more research. research order complete. Increasing range is never a bad idea. My All right. There's a million references in this mod, but can we just appreciate the BXR titanium mine? How's that Do you a reference? Get that one? I don't get that one. I in can't see. Okay. Halo 2, there was um, a way that you could basically, if you're in close combat with a battle rifle, you could insta kill somebody. So oh, you yeah, would yeah, yeah. Melee, X to reload, cancel, and then you would pull a trigger and headshot them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's. So that's a niche reference. Yeah. Frickin head. <laughs> oh god. Uh, so much more titanium than deuterium. Uh, deuterium seems to be a fair bit rarer. Yeah, that's why I tried to rush the deuterium or deuterium uh, tech to get more resources up. Yeah, where is the deuterium tech? I'm looking for it. it has um, the titanium tech. Which one is it? Is Salt it if you grab titanium surveying and new separation process, oh, it's, it's right deuterium out. distillation. Yeah, I see it. 
Yes, you don't have to get the second level of separation process. You can go straight to deuterium. Oh, okay, that's cool. And then the one after that is also deuterium. Okay. Hmm. Oh, the military uh, research station uses less um logistics capacity than the civilian one. Oh crap yeah the covenant yeah. are at this planet but they haven't captured it yet there's a light destroyer and a super cruiser here so i'm making first contact with the covenant here okay here we go i'm gonna have my long swords flying into their deaths definitely want to watch this okay here we go go long swords make me proud this is actually really cool. They've changed the they've updated the model for the long swords as well. The model for the long sword looks incredible. You do have to be careful that Super Cruiser has twelve thousand shields on it. It's gonna take a while to take it out. Yeah. They got another cruiser coming in to assist. Have they? Oh crap. Uh, maybe this is a bad idea. Do you think I should just retreat or you might be able to take them. I mean, you can do a lot of alpha damage with that. Yeah, fight. that's true. And considering the Halcyons I have, with the, the Halcyon Mac is pretty good. Um, I don't want my fleet to... Actually, yeah, I want to get to this fleet before their cruiser heads in to back them up. If I can just get them to focus on the super cruiser, because that's the real threat. Oh, hell, they're already destroying my ships. That, that super cruiser's got some range. Okay, focus fire on the super cruiser. And that's the real threat. It's got some long range plasma lances. Yeah, plasma lance damage 126. Mm, almost through its shields though. Yes, got it. I think the Halcyon's got into range and finished it off. Saying that, taking some pretty heavy losses. Saying that, we're taking out the next one. Yeah, no, I think we got this. As soon as the capital ships were in range, we were alright. Right, I want them to go capture the planet real quick, before they do. Oh, crap! No, the planet's um actually inhabited by rebels. So you got to actually bomb it. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass. It doesn't take too long, though, and I do have a couple of uh, invasion ships. In this yeah, world. yeah, that's fine, but yeah, it's just weird. Um... <laughs> uh, it requires so many logistics slots to get the goddamn civilian ones. I mean, I get that, you know, it's a military ruling thing now, like the UNSC, but even so... Right, let's get bombing this planet. Right, you're all in this fleet, right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to build a culture station thing. To try Going and to make the names, they have Mars and the Moon. So <laughs> this is an alternate history, is it, where Reach you know, fell after Mars and the Moon did? Yes. Also, Mars is still an Earth-like world. Oh, naturally. Hmm. Right. I need myself a frigate shipyard here. That's for sure. So I can churn out some uh, frigates a little closer to the front. How's this planet doing? Okay, I've almost taken it. It's all good. Let's get some research going. Warship grade titanium. Maybe a very good idea. Then again, I do need a lot more fleet capacity. Let's get that. Uh... Oh, I can unlock the Halberd class destroyer. Hell yeah. Those are pretty, pretty sexy. I'm probably triggering so many people with how crap I am at this game right now. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm not pausing the game and like taking my sweet ass time and basically playing it like a turn-based strategy game, I really am poor at this game. 
Yeah, well, I don't use any hotkeys in any RTS games, so I can take some of that heat off for you. <laughs> well, I don't use hotkeys either. I'm like <laughs> taking oh, my time go. to look at each planet. Like, yeah, I'm just saying I'm sure I am triggering just, somebody. You just click everything. Yeah, yeah. I don't use a single hotkey. That's the true way to do it. Obviously, any other way is a coward's way. Oh, indeed. Okay, cool. I've captured this planet. Let's start. Um, let's start fortifying the crap out of it. Okay, I've got my two. Capacity. I'm just going to grab these two next to my home world and I'll start heading down. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I'm going to need... We're going to need a combined fleet, probably, at this world. Um, yeah, we're going to... We're going to struggle. Okay, let's upgrade my tactical capacity so we get a few more constructor ships. Cool. Then, uh, okay, I've unlocked the... Oh, repair yards are now a, a thing. Very nice. Okay. So you've got the normal orbital weapons platform, or you've got the very class super orbital weapons platform, which is significantly more expensive, but... It's a dual Mac launcher, though. Yeah, it is. Damn. Dual super heavy Mac, some rapid fire capabilities. Gain significant b damage boosts. Oh, crap, the Covenant are back. Okay, but they're split up. So they got three CCS classes, though. They do have three CCS classes. Uh, this might be a bad idea. Should I just retreat? I'm wondering whether I just retreat. They're split up. You could try and yeah. That's why I'm. That's what I'm separate. doing. I'm trying to take them out one at a time. Um, they're not f heading to their advantages really, but they are significantly you could try faster. And kite them too. And stay at range. Yeah. No, I'm not very good at that, though. And the thing is, your ships have to turn around. They have to be facing the enemy to fire the max, which is a pain. Uh, this ORS is already going to do quite a bit of damage. Come on. Get them max in there. So nukes are doing, like, 6,000 damage a hit. <laughs> yeah, but they might as well be nuking me with how much they're doing. Halcyon seem to be tanking a fair bit, but the stalwarts are taking... Uh, bit of a pounding. We will get there oh god, okay, yeah, I think they're gonna absolutely shred me. I'm gonna retreat. I'm gonna fall back. It's a good idea. I'm not gonna lose these ships. Yeah, there's no hope in hell of willingness. I didn't manage to kill the heavy cruiser. I cancel all your upgrades except for, like, uh, the anti-bombing stuff. So you get your resources back. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Sorry. Ah, oh, crap, I paused the game. Okay. Yeah, let's cancel all these. <laughs> so, means I can't cancel, but oh, I can cancel. Put in the titanium mines. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, let's save the, t save the capital ships and fall back. Uh, okay, this asteroid is now going to be... Oh, wow, the range on these super weapons platforms is incredible. Oh, they've, they've massively upped the range of, of the orbital weapon platforms. That is so cool. Okay, they can yeah. basically kill anything in the gravity well, which makes so much more sense. Okay, I'm turning group slip space jump off uh, so they can all run together. Come on, Halcyon class! Outrun that plasma lance! Oh, those plasma lances have got such long range. Come on. It's got like a cluster of plasma torpedoes following it. Let's see if it can get into slip space before <laughs> the plasma torpedoes hit. No! <laughs> oh, that's such a shame. Come on. Come on. <laughs> See if I can save the marathon and the two uh, Orions. Well, the two marathons, actually. Come on. Go. Go. Punch it. Punch it. They're right on you. They really are, yeah. Okay, I'm going to build a few halberds. Oh, I can build a crap ton of halberds. Let's build many that of these. That marathon didn't make It's still trying to jump. Oh, no! No! What are you doing? Jump! <laughs> no! Ah, they got it. Oh, oh, oh! Ah. <laughs> Bollocks. He got into position, then it went, nah, I want to be over here instead. Yeah. Hopefully they'll go glass the planet before they um head to come murder me. I've never seen them bypass a planet, so you should be alright. Yeah. 
I don't see. Yeah, you don't tend to see them do it, do you? You do need to try and reinforce that asteroid. Oh, don't down. worry. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm building uh, super stuff. Can you build a uh, anchor station there? I could do. That'd be a good idea. Uh, I think I've researched the. Yeah, I have researched the anchor station. Okay, right. Let's get a Phoenix class. Can I build Phoenix classes from a frigate one? No, I think it has to be a capital one. Damn it. Oh, wait, that's a support vessel. Oh, no, it's in support vessels, isn't it? You can build those. Yeah, Phoenix colony ship. Okay, cool. Uh, right. What was I doing? I was going to try and upgrade my civilian stuff even more. Mm, nope, we're out of uh, logistics slots there. Oh, I'm almost out of logistics slots like everywhere. Oh, I actually found an artifact. Oh, nice. I never find any of those. It's always a bit of a pain. Let's see. Are no, they like glad? Oh, God, no, they did. Them. They did follow me. No, no, no. Fall back. Fall back, fleet. Fall back. Don't. Oh, no, it's all right. They're jumping away. Okay, nuke them. Kill them before they jump. Revenge. Die. Oh, I jumped away. Bastard. You had like 300 more missiles on the way to hit him. Yeah, I did. No. Oh. He's really low on health, though. Yeah, they're glassing my planet now. It was low on health when it jumped away, to be fair. Hopefully one of the neutral factions will kill it. Right, I'm going to turn off um, auto attack so they stay within the range of the uh, of the super mac. And I'm building like a billion destroyers. Ah, you can only build orbital weapons platforms in like a very small area now as well. It has to be like right above the uh, planet, which is great, actually. Like it makes way more sense because, you know, like in Halo 2, they have the weapons platforms like just above the planet because they have to power them with uh, power generators on the surface. Yeah. Yeah, but they have range, which is the entire gravity well, essentially. Um, yeah, makes sense, though. I like it. I like these these changes. Yeah, this is really cool. Okay, I lost the colony. Of course, the artifact is to do with like trade goods and cargo capacity of trade ships. Well, yeah, just build a bunch of trade ships and then you're Gucci. Fair enough. Might build a capital shipyard here actually, since I'm going to be. Yeah, I bought the capital shipyard. Destroyer ready for duty. Reporting. Uh, let me set the rally point of this to be this fleet, so they automatically go into the fleet. And put everything in this gravity well into this fleet. Destroyer ready for duty. Destroyer reporting. I'll get there. Okie dokie, right. Uh, let's get back on to hopefully not getting exterminated by the Covenant. And let's uh, build some more military research stations. Okay, right, I can increase my deuterium extraction rate, which is nice. I've managed, got, managed to get to the tech finally. Ah, oh, which is boding well. Let's um, increase my trade goods value. Don't think I've found, yeah, I haven't found any artifacts, which is a shame. I've explored all the planets that I've um, actually reached, but... Hmm. See, I don't really have any nearby planets now that I can expand to, like, because they're on my side of the galaxy, so... Well, of the of the star system, you know, beyond that it was just asteroid fields, and then yeah, so, yeah that was the only way I could really expand without having a bunch of gaps in my defense.